going to work in my two-dimensional assemblage art journal. This is a zine art journal that I created following a tutorial at Lisa My Eclectic Life. And I am doing Aunt Beck's Use It Up Challenge for August. So what do I want to use up? I want to use up these larger paper dolls. Or at least use use some of them. I doubt if I'll get all of the large ones used. But that's what I'm going to work on in this journal. And I'm at the end of a section, which means I just have one page left in this section. And one page at the beginning of the next section. So I am going to concentrate on doing the large paper dolls. Maybe I'll get two of them in there. We'll see as I go along. I have this washi tape that I'm going to use for the borders of the assemblage box. And I have some pink metallic background paper. This was left over from, I think, a Valentine project. And I have a music sheet that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go into fast forward and work on these. And when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll chat about the results. I start out by measuring and fitting this piece of pink metallic paper that I painted. I want it to go on the left side there of my art journal zine. So I'm just cutting it and trimming it to size. I really do like that color. I think it really fits into this journal. I'm gluing it down with the Elmer's Glue Extreme Glue Stick. Just getting it to fit on the page. Make sure that it's secure. Now I'm going to put some washi tape around each one of the borders and this will simulate the walls of my two-dimensional assemblage box. So I'm just doing all four sides. I like this washi tape that I get from Walmart. It's reasonably priced and there's a lot of it. I'm using it up. Now I get out the Tim Holtz paper dolls. I want to start using up these larger paper dolls and I'm just playing with different ones on the page and I'm really liking those men that are seated so I choose one man who's going to sit right up there on top and a lady and a young boy. I'm kind of thinking this as a family page and I just experiment with different pieces in there. I decide on these two advertising pieces I'm putting another little cubby hole in my assemblage box. Now I glue the man in there, but you'll see I have to adjust his foot when I get ready to glue the woman in there because I want his foot to kind of reach over her coat. I'm just creating another little assemblage compartment, gluing in the advertising pieces. Now I'm creating another little cubby hole down below. There I'm gluing his foot back down. A lot of gluing in this. I use a combination of glue stick and Elmer's Extreme Wet Glue. The glue stick probably would not hold those larger paper dolls. Now I'm just sorting through the ephemera packs and deciding what I want to use. I decide on that butterfly. I'm going to put him on that man's shoulder. There we go. Now I'm going to work on the other single page, which is the first page in the next section. And I'm using this piece of sheet music and I'm trimming it to size. I decide to keep the top portion of it and move it down toward the center of the page just to balance out the page. Gluing it down with my glue stick, making sure it's really coated. Now I'm 
Now I'm putting the washi tape on this page. I'm using a pink floral washi tape. Just uses up my washi tape, but also it just adds it adds a common element throughout this entire book of the little two-dimensional assemblage boxes. And then I'm just putting different things in there via my fussy cuts. Trimming everything up nice and neat. I decided to use another seated man and a boy and a girl and the mother and the young kids. And I'm really liking how this page is turning out. I'm playing with how I want it to look on the page. I decide the man's going to be stay seated up at the top, and I'm putting the advertising piece on there. Now I'm going to create another little cubby hole up at the top. There we go. A nice large cubby hole down at the bottom, and I'm arranging my boy and girl and the two younger ones and it looks like a mother and an older sister on the far left. This is kind of another family setting but I want to use up these paper dolls and I think just putting some of them in the assemblage boxes is just fine. Have a butterfly up there in the corner just deciding what I want to use. I think I'm going to use those flowers, but then I decide not. And I end up putting the butterfly right down there in the lower assemblage box. So I'm all done with that. So now I'm going to work on my other zine, and I lost the video for it, but I'll show you it in the following segment. I have finished working in my two-dimensional zine journal. I'm getting these pages finished. I wanted to use up my paper dolls. These are Tim Holtz paper dolls and these are the larger ones. And so I have a gentleman and a lady and a young boy and this just reminds me of family. I may put a label here that says family. And then you flip the page and over here is a gentleman. I have him sitting on the shelf. And here's some ephemera up here. There's a little butterfly. The music is in the background. A young boy, a young girl. Looks like a mother and maybe an older sister and two young children. I really do like that. Now, I'm using up things that I have in my stash. I just want to use them up. This is hashtag Bex Use It Up. So those are done. I'll be doing more. I have I have several pages left to do. I want to get it finished by the end of August. But if I don't get it finished by the end of August, if I run into September, well, that's okay. Then I worked on this zine art journal, which I'm going to put my painty papers in. We have a painty paper swap going on in Aunt Beck's group, Aunt Beck's Creations. So there's a link to her channel in the description box below. And this was from a Dirty Dozen project. And I had upside down ladies on these last two pages. But I took care of that by collaging in some advertising pieces from a vintage magazine. So I really I really do like that. It keeps with the theme of the midnight ballet with the Victorian style ladies and the fairies. So I think I've rescued that. I'm very happy with this one. I'm happy how this one folded up. I'm very happy with it. So I will be putting painty papers in here probably 
in the 1st of September as they come in. And then I will flip through the pages and credit everybody who's sent them to me. This will be a scribble journal. This is a painty paper art journal, but I'm going to use it also to journal my thoughts and notes and quotes and ideas. So that's what this journal is destined for. Very happy. Very, very happy with it. Now, if you're interested in how these journals are created, I followed a tutorial by Lisa, my eclectic life. I will put a link to her tutorial in the description box below. I really do like these zine art journals. And if I create them out of a large piece of watercolor paper, they become very strong and sturdy. It will be easy for me to write in these, especially this one. So thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.